Welcome to Course Pilot. In this video, we are going to discuss Razor View Engine in ASP.NET Core MVC. In this video, we cover what is View Engine, what is Razor View Engine, Razor Syntax. On the Razor Syntax, we cover Razor Code Blocks, Razor Code Expressions, and Escape Sequence in Razor Syntax, and many more. So let's first understand what is View Engine. View engine is used to translate our view to HTML then render them to server. As you can see in the diagram, in the view page, you can write the HTML code as well as the C sub code and then it convert into HTML code. A view engine is a piece of code which is used to render server side code into a view. View engine works in a view page in ASP.NET Core MVC. View engine is used to get or set the default path of the location for view, shared folder, etc. That means a view engine is developed in such a way that the view engine is work only for the view and the shared folder. In the application, instead of the shared folder, if you rename it common folder, then the view engine will not work for us. Because of the view engine is developed according to the view and the shared folder. If you want to create a custom folder, then you need to develop your custom view engine. So how to develop custom view engine, we may discuss in our upcoming videos. Then let's understand what is Razor View Engine. Razor is a view engine. The Razor View Engine is the default view engine for the ASP.NET Core application. Razor is used to write the C sub logic on the view page. The Razor file extension is CSHTML for the C sub language. It supports TDD that means test driven development. The test driven development or TDD is basically focused to for the unit testing. How to do unit testing in ASP.NET Core MVC application in our upcoming videos, we will go through that. Let's flip to Visual Studio and we will see how a C sub code is work on the view page. This is the same application that we have used so far. On the previous video, we have created this custom folder. Let's delete this and also remove this line of code. Here you can see the in the views folder there is no CSS HTML file is there. So let's on the right click here, click add view, then select the razor view, click add, then click add. In the index.css HTML you can find the HTML code and here another line of code you can find. So let's discuss what is this. When we mouse over on the layout you can see the namespace is coming from microsoft.asp.net code.mvc.razor.razorbase.layout. Layout basically is the string name. Let's right click on that, then go to the definition. You can see this string layout is coming from the razor base class. And here it is confirmed that it is a C sub code and it, it used on the index.cs HTML. Like layout, there are several properties defined on the razor page base after class. Here you can found body context, view back, view context and all these other properties also. In our upcoming videos, we may go through the details about that. For now, it's confirmed that in the index.cs HTML page, the HTML and the C subcode both are used. Then let's discuss what is Razor Syntax. The Razor Syntax is starts with the authored symbol. Using Razor, we can write the code in two ways. One is Razor Code's expressions or single line syntax. Another one is Razor Code blocks or multi line syntax. Let's first discuss what is Razor Code expression or single line syntax. Again, the single line syntax has divided into two parts. First one is implicit Razor expression. That means the expression is typed like this. At the rate, it denotes as the Razor syntax. The Razor syntax is used as at the rate date time dot now like this. Also, we can say it as any C sub variable that is called implicit razor expression. Let's flip to Visual Studio and we'll see that how the implicit razor expression or single line syntax will work. In the body tag, let's we take h2 element and here when I type at the rate symbol, you can see that it is yellowish in color. Then I type here date time dot now you can see here also the intelligence support of visual studio will work here and all the c sub code is written here let's run the application and we'll see this date time dot now is displayed in the browser or not now you can see that the c sub code is displayed accordingly when you right click and inspect the browser you can see the html code is there in the body tag you can see in the h2 this c sub code is converted into HTML. That means 
whatever the C sharp code we have write in the CSS HTML page or the view page, it convert into HTML page. It need to be understand how the C sharp code is converted into HTML. This is due to the Razor's view engine. The Razor view engine is responsible to convert the C sharp code into HTML. Here also we can format the date time as you did in C sharp like dot to string. If you want to display as dd triple m then four times y in this format I want to display. Let's run the application. You can see now the browser is displayed according to our date format. So we have seen that how the razor expression was working. Suppose in a scenario we want some logic in the C sub code like add two numbers. So let's see how to do this. Let's say type here sum is then put the other red symbol then let's pick a value as 5 plus 6. Here you can see that there is a red symbol. So let's save this and run the application. We will see what the exact error. When you run the application, you can see there is a compile time error. That means it other it is treated as purely C sub code. In the CS page or controller page, if you write anything wrong code, then it will give us the compile time error. Like this, in the index.cs html when you use the other red symbol it treats as the c sub code so this is why the compile time error is come so let's understand how to get rid of this well using explicit razor expression we can get rid of this so let's understand what is explicit razor expression explicit razor expression start with other red followed by the parenthesis and any content within the parenthesis is evaluated and rendered to the output that means it can be used as at the rate then parenthesis then your expression at the rate then our variable 1 plus variable 2 like this. So let's do this in our Visual Studio code. We just simply add the parenthesis and now we can see that the red symbol is gone out. Let's save this and run the application again. You can see now the value is printed as sum is 11. That means the C sub code is working perfectly. And when we inspect the element, and you can see that the sum is at the rate 5 plus 6, it directly rendered to the HTML. So, in this way, the Razor View Engine is working. That means the C subcode is directly converted into HTML using the Razor View Engine. We have covered the Razor Code expression or single line syntax. Let's discuss about what is multi line syntax. The Razor Code block start with the at the rate symbol followed by curly braces is called as multi line syntax. The syntax is like this, at the rate, then the curly braces, then your logic. And another thing is that you can use code blocks anywhere in the Markov view page. So let's understand how to write the Razor code block in the CSS HTML page. Let's add a line here, multi-line expression. As the syntax suggests, we write at the rate symbol, then we type process here. In that process, we should use the, our logic. Let's add two number and the result set is printed on the HTML. int, let's a equal to 10, then int b equal to 20. Then we print the value as int c equal to a plus b. And simply, if you want to display the c value, then we should type here, let's take a h2 tag, and here we type as at the rate c you can see the visual studio intelligence is working around the application you can see that after the h1 tag the h2 value is printed here and this is sub code is not rendered to the browser so let's inspect that expand the body tag you can see that h1 is multiple expression that we have right here then it directly rendered h2 and it speak the sum value as c like this if you want to add some string value here so we can write here also let string val equal to let's say welcome to asp.net core tutorials if you want to print the val value so you simply create a another tag and type as other red symbol then should be the val then run the application you can see the string value is printed here then understand how to write a email in view page that means you can see our email is support at the red code spider.com 
as per we know that the razor syntax symbol is at the rate then how the razor will treat this at the rate symbol because of if you type support at the rate then it should be treated as razor syntax then how it manages so let's move to the visual studio let's add a h1 tag let's name as email in view page in the history tab i want to show us support at the rate you can see when i type at the rate it should be treated as razor syntax let's add the rest of the email information supports at the courseprider.com you can see that now the at the rate is not treated as the razor syntax let's run the application you can see that there is no error and the result is printed perfectly support at the rate courseprider.com then how this at the rate is not treated as razor view engine the razor view engine understand whether it is email or whether it is c support as this email is used the full format of email then the razor view engine is known that it is a email not any c support so that you can see the other rate symbol is not treated as hello mark and it treated as html so in this way you can display the email in the few ways then let's understand what is escape sequence escape sequence is used whenever we need to print like at the rate twitter account or at the rate tag user then how the at the rate symbol is treated in the razor view engine so let's check that escape sequence and in the h2 tab let's add at the rate course spider pro this is our twitter account name you can see now the straightforward error is gone the name course spider pro does not exist in the current context that means the course spider pro is not initialized that means whenever we use the this at the rate symbol then the razor syntax does not understand whether it is a twitter name or tag user name then how we get rid of this well the escape sequence suggests we need to type another at the rate symbol here let's run the application you can now see the escape sequence is working perfectly and we can also display at the rate code spider form so in your like this requirement you can use the escape sequence you use double at the rate because if you want to display at the rate with a text then you need to append here another at the rate symbol because of one at the rate symbol is treated as a c support then let's discuss intelligence support here we discuss how much the razor syntax is support the intelligence in visual studio so to check the proper intelligence in the css html page let's create a model class here add class let's the class name as employee here i am going to add two property let's add string let's say employee name and another property i want to add here let's say employee address that's it so here we create a class named as employee and then the employee class there is two property one is employee name and employee address so let's understand how this class is used in this index.css html let's name us how to use model and to access the model we need to type it at the rate so as you can see that this employee class is belongs to customer management dot model snapshot and here we need to learn how in the integer cs html this employee class is to be called and how the intelligence is properly working we need to check that so to do this let's add here we are employee equal to new then customer management is our project name then dot models models the folder name on the employee you can see that the intelligence is properly working here then in the employee tab we need to add in the employee class there is two property one is emp name you can see that the emp name and emp address is coming here so we add as emp name let's say john at comma then emp address equal to let's say usa so you can see that now in the simple way you can call your employee class inside the css system so let's understand how this employee name and the employee address will be printed here let's add a tag here let's name is we need to just type here at the rate then our object name is employee so we need type as employee dot you can see that the employee name is come here so type that accordingly we need to type as employee address 
so let's run the application the name is john and the name is usa is displayed accordingly so let's understand what is using directive in the Razor view engine in this example we use the direct namespace of the employee instead of this we add a directive also like in the home controller.cs you can use the namespace here like this in the index.cshtml we can add the namespace here we can add us add the rate using then the project name as customer management then the models and instead of the customer management dot models just remove this so now you can see the employee class is referred to the this directive we have already discussed how to do variable declaration in the Razor view engine we can use the variable declaration with the data type like uh, integer float decimal bool daytime and string let's understand how the double quotation will work on the Razor view engine that means we want to display a text with a double quotation so to use the double quotation we need to type as other it so let's declare a variable as we are suppose text equal to we need to type as hello then we type here world and here we need to print as let's on the p tab other text let's run the application you can see that the double quotation is used like this hello world that means whenever you want to use the double quotation and display on the view page then you should use like this hello then your text with two double quotation similarly let's understand how to use the backslash character in the Razor view engine and type here backslash we want to display the path and in the path the slash is there so type here c drive let's it c drive windows then system 32 and uh, here we need to type as path let's run the application you can see here the backslash is working perfectly so let's understand how to use comments in the Razor view engine well the comments are working at the rate star and star at the rate to place the comments like this if you have the text like this then the comments are working as at the rate star then end of the text start at the rate let's check this suppose i want to block all these up code so let's select here and select comment you can see that this is working as at the rate star then star at the rate let's understand another example is how the html elements work on the inside the block any HTML elements inside the Razor code block is correctly identified by the Razor view engine. So let's check that. Suppose we have declared as other it, other it, then inside we have declared a paragraph tab, and here let's say type as hello from the code block or anything you can type that. Let's run the application. You can see that now our HTML elements inside the code block is working perfectly that means inside the code block you can write the csr code as well as inside the code block you can write the html elements also so let's understand another example is that how to write the single line of text in the razor view engine to write the single line of text we need to type as at the rate then colon then whatever your text this at the rate colon is used to define the single line of literal values let's say that how to add the multi-line text so to add the multi-line text we need to append here a text symbol in the text we need to type as end of text sorry text then end of text whatever your long line text you can write here let's run the application you can see that the single line of text is displayed properly also as well as the multi-line so this is the basic example of how to write the C sub code in the CS HTML page and how it convert into the HTML. That's it in the video. On the next video, we are going to discuss the conditional statements like if else, ternary operator, switch case, etc. in the Razor View engine. Do like and subscribe for more upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.